surprise, surprise, the cheetah will own the track for the next 15 minutes or so. I am joined on the track by some of my co-trainers here, folks. We've got Shannon, who's been working with Hopper, our dog companion today on the track. Shannon's going to be our lure operator today. She gets to play keep away with the fastest animal on land. We've got Jessica releasing our cat today. And we have Annette, who's going to be our cheetah trainer extraordinaire today. Kaburi, our guest of honor, has just arrived on the release end of our track. Now, folks, you are about to see the fastest animal on land do what it does best. Run. Full speed, potentially 70 miles per hour, just a few feet away from you. Now, there's a couple different reasons we're able to offer this very unique experience to you. First of all, it is the extensive amount of time and training that we invest in our cheetah ambassadors. Second, it is this unique track you're looking at. This track measures in at 100 meters or 330 feet. Now this is a very important distance because it does take this length for the cheetah to reach full speed and still have room to stop, which is very important for all my friends down here on the bridge today. Good luck over there, guys. <laughs> now we are granted special permission by the USD to run our cheetahs off leash because we can't keep up and outside of an exhibit. We are the only facility in the country that is able to do this for you. Now because of this, yes, thank you. Because of this, we are required to adhere to many different guidelines. And one of them is that we have to make sure that all of you folks are on your side of the fence, including your body parts. Small children, if you had legs on one side of the fence, please take them over to your side of the fence at this time. We really appreciate your help with this. Now folks, our trainers are getting into position to run a dog for you. Everyone came here to see a dog run, right? No. Yeah. Yes. Hopper the dog is Kaburi's cheetah companion today. He gets the job of running the track first for a few different reasons. First of all, it allows Shannon to practice or test her lure equipment, make sure it's working properly before the cheetah comes out. Second, Hopper is in acting in the traditional capacity of Cheetah Companion by running the track first, letting Kaburi watch, and showing Kaburi that this is fun and safe. Because believe it or not, cheetahs are really big scaredy cats. Now the third reason we run the dog first is for all of your benefit, you get to practice your photography skills at a much slower rate than that of the cheetah. If you don't get a wonderful photo of Hopper the Dog running, I encourage you guys to put your cameras down when it comes time for the cheetah because we only guarantee one run from our cheetah today, folks. Now, Jessica's got some hand signals for you when her arm goes up. Our runner is ready. Arm down means our runner is on the move. And we find that Hopper runs faster the louder you cheer him on. Let's give it up for Hopper. Woo! Incredible speed from Hopper the dog. <laughs> he came in at a very respectable 11 seconds. Great for a domestic dog. We're going to time the cheetah. Who thinks the cheetah's going to run faster? <laughs> All right. Now our trainers are getting back in position. Now Shannon has the most difficult job on the track today, folks, playing keep away with the fastest animal on land. Because if that lure gets too far away, do you know what this very well-fed cheetah does? Lay down. He just hangs back and says, wake me when it's time for my bike. <laughs> All right. If it gets too close, Kaburi catches the toy. Run is over. No fun for us, right? Fortunately for you guys, Shannon is one of our best lure operators here today. So we're in for a very exciting run. Annette is our catch trainer today. She is working with Kaburi today. You're going to hear her blow a loud coach's whistle when that lure disappears into the box at the catch end of the track. That is Kaburi's sign that the run is over and he can come and get his big bowl of well-deserved raw meat. Now again, we only guarantee one run from our cheetah down here today, folks, because it does require such physical exertion. So I wasn't joking about those photos. <laughs> Please enjoy this first run. There is a lot to take in, but I encourage you to stick around for a few minutes after this first run. We're gonna assess Kaburi's recovery and determine whether or not he'll be running a second time. Now, cheetah's stride, folks, when they're reaching full speed, can be 20 to 25 feet in length. And our cheetahs typically cover this track in about five to seven seconds. Wow. All right, folks, our trainers are in position. Again, arm up, runners ready, arm down. Make sure you're on the move. Enjoy cheetah run. It goes by fast. 
Whoa! <laughs> and he catches his prize. <laughs> Very well done, Kaburi.